Howdy folks, how are you all doing? Right, let me explain to you what's going on here today, here, right now. Right, this has been made by my friend Eric in Slovenia. Um, the story behind it I will explain as we go along, but what I must tell you here, first of all, is that, yes, I've opened the box lid, done all, all that, I've had to cut that all open, um, but that's as far as I've seen. So what's actually going to happen here is you're going to see this at the same time as me, because I haven't actually gone any further than this as of yet. So let's carefully see what it's going to do. It's going to come out and we'll see what it's like. Now, obviously, I've noticed that these are kind of loose, so I'm guessing that that might be a box. Yes, it is. Right, it's a box in a box. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. I know we're good at packaging, so let's get that out of the way. Right, oh, there, right. Yeah, I'm downstairs in the workshop here, so obviously I'm work on my workbench. Um, right, I don't know what to expect. I've only seen a photo of this, so I can... Yeah, looks like that's the opening there. Let's have a look. Right, OK, come on, come on, come on. I can't wait to see this. Right. Uh, I know that the pantograph has been fixed, so Eric explained that to me, and he said uh, not to press it down, so I'm going to have to carefully have a look what we've got. Oh, oh, hell's bells. Wow. Okay, well, it looks like it's going to have to be one at a time, so we just carefully get some of this packing out. Oh, I'm so looking forward to looking at this. Oh wow, oh super wow, oh yes, now let me tell you the story behind this, like I say as we go along, this is not strictly accurate to what the Avella is going to be like because it, it's not going to have double deck coaches, Eric did explain this to me, and um, Basically, he loved the livery and he decided to just make one. Um, and though it's not strictly correct, he did offer it me and I thought, well, this is going to be unique. It's going to be a one-off. So, yeah, I'll take it off you. And this is exactly what I've done. And this is exactly what you're seeing, like I said, for the first time with me as well. Of course, getting that one out a bit easier now, look. Okie dokie. Oh, Eric's work is just magnificent. Dear, just magnificent. Now, uh, this is a five car set, so let me just put that one down as well out the way and get the other one out. You can see the loco and dummy in a minute. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, that's the third one, obviously. Yep. Yes, as I say, the, the actual Avella, when it comes out, uh, it, it won't have the double deck coaches, but um, as I say, this is so unique, I don't mind having this, I really don't. I know it's going to get some thumbs down because it's not strictly accurate, but you know what, I'm not bothered. I, it's, it's my collection again, and I like doing what I do, and I'm quite happy to have something a little bit different. So, here we go, here we go, oh yes, 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 yes. right. Now, don't touch the pantograph, John. Uh, carefully does it. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Wow, wow, wow. She's an absolute beauty. Oh, yes. Wow. I'm impressed, Eric. You've done a fantastic job of it, mate. Really, really, really nice. Yep. It was well worth the 20 quid, mate. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Put that down out the way. Let's have a look at the dummy. Yep. Again, typical work by Eric. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Well, well chuffed with this. Well, the next thing to do really is uh, we need to uh, rock and roll it round on the uh, layout upstairs. So yeah, join me in a minute. Well, a few seconds. All right, we're on the layout. Uh, so what I've done, because uh, um, 
well basically I've, I've added two more Amtrak uh, trains onto the other two lines so there's a bit more movement happening rather than just the Avelia coming round um, uh, but I've not put any, uh, any sort of rolling stock on the back of them um, I don't really like doing that but as I say I've just put these other couple of Amtraks on to give it a bit of an Amtrak feel so let me bring the first one round right this is the quad of the F40s Oh, I've got cramp in my foot. <laughs> okay, cool, right. Um, this is the P42s and the P40. Cool. And now, Velia. Come on, baby. Here she comes. Yes. Wicked. That's the start. So uh, let's get a running session on the go. Come on, let's do this. Yokey dokey, the F40 pH is first then. Come on. Nice slow through look. That's a 375. 391, 346 and 231, there they go. Yeah, like I say, I don't normally like to run something without some stock on it, but I've done it just to, you know, add a bit more happening, because obviously this video is more about the Avelia than anything else. Maybe look back, nice good speed, just gently. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm fine with that. All right then. Uh, pair of P42s and the uh, P40 now that's a later uh, ready to run one after and along with its dummy and that one which I showed you in the last video that's an older Athern one as a P40 um, and you will hear it as well because the older ones have got that typical Athern buzz Yeah, I'm sure you can hear it. Come on then, star of the show. And super duper new. Thank you to Eric in Slovenia. And Velia. Prototype. <laughs> yep. We'll even put all the little information stickers on look and things. Oh, super. Well, it is HST, so let's track her up to HST type speed. Slowly does it. Right, you'll see a difference now. Told you so. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh wow. I'm close to bits with that. Fantastic. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to have the other two running. Like I said, give it that little bit of extra movement in the video. If by any chance you are interested in the Amtrak uh, trains, um, I have actually used a full length video of all Amtrak stuff. It was quite a while ago and I wasn't using particularly a very good camera. So that's a good excuse to do some more at a later date. But um, I did do a long video of all on Amtrak stuff. Check it out. Oh, 
out, it's pretty neat. Wicked. Well there you go then folks, uh, that's about it for this one. Just get me to stop at the front for you again. And uh, hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, lovely to have this model from Eric. Thanks again Eric for offering it me, giving me first choice. And she is really, 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 really nice. Oh, I'll go around once more. It was a little bit nippy there, wasn't I? Come on, just try. Get it right, John. Better. More like it. Beautiful of Elia. Oh, you can hear the motor slowing down on that old Athern P40. It gives you a good, if you can hear it, 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 it kind of helps you to slow it down at the right pace, like that. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, one of those F40s, it's one of the Batman ones, it's got a little bit of a rattle on it. And to be honest with you, I've had them a while, I can't actually remember if I actually ever serviced those. So perhaps that's a, a good sign to do so. There you go folks. I've enjoyed myself doing this. Well, I enjoy doing them all anyway, but this one wasn't terribly hard. Especially with all the um, American stuff being out on the bed, it's still there. I, I, I managed to sort of you know, obviously grab those quick, which meant I didn't have to unpack anything, so that's cool. All right, um, let me tell you now, I've got, I'm halfway through the next part of the box sets and I'm partway through the next part of my massive collection. So two more videos coming up as soon as I can. See you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.